Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today to see my Netflix original favorites. I have to say I had not a lot of confidence in Netflix from the beginning and some of their shows I just was not a big fan of. So the fact that like I've kind of gotten into a few of them and liked them, I really wanted to tell you about because I was just so down on it from the beginning. <laughs> so these are my Netflix original favorites. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. And I upload videos three times a week and put out content as fast as I can make it. So probably the first Netflix original show that I actually tried was Longmire. And I had heard about it from another vlogger. I think I heard about it on What's Up Woods. And they were saying that they were watching it. And so I just decided to check it out, see what it was all about. And it was kind of about this lawman in Wyoming and his story and things like that. And so he has kind of a complicated past. And different characters in the story all have really well developed characters over the years. And I liked that there was a lot of Indian influence that um, kind of played into that as well because you don't see that in a lot of shows. In this show, it was exciting. It kept you wanting to watch. The storylines were interesting. You really couldn't find out who did what a lot of times and so things were a little bit more um, complex and I really like that it made me enjoy the show and I actually I remember when they came out with season four and season five I want to say it goes up to season six and I remember being so excited when this last season had come out because I wanted to see what would happen and I was not sure about the ending and how it was all going to come out because you know me and I had read some reviews and some spoilers <laughs> and but I was pleasantly surprised so if you're looking for a show it's he's a he is a sheriff in a small town and so it's kind of has this criminal aspect to it so if that's something you're interested in um, but they were very mysterious kept me guessing kept me on my edge of my seat cliffhangers where I wanted to watch the next one. The next Netflix original show that I watched was a show called Between and it's from 2015. It only had uh, two seasons on Netflix but it was really good. I actually wish there was more seasons um, because I really liked the storyline and the idea of it was that some mysterious virus came through and killed everyone over the age of 21 and then the government kind of quarantined everyone else in this area and so they can't get out of the area and it's kind of um, like how they're surviving and what's going on. I actually really liked the show. I didn't think I was going to like it but as I watched it and a show would end, it would always end where I wanted to know what would happen and what's gonna happen. And I actually really liked it. And I think it was more of an underrated Netflix original show. And it was one of the ones that kind of turned my head a little bit on, okay, Netflix is making some pretty good things. <laughs> the next show I want to tell you about is a show called Godless. And I wasn't sure about it because of the name and I was kind of like, you know, I'm not, I'm not too keen on this, um, but it's a mini series. I want to say there's like six or eight episodes. There's, it's not very long or anything. The episodes are longer. They're kind of like movies. I actually, I do recall, I watched this in December around the time um, when we were putting up our Christmas tree. And I remember trying to fluff our Christmas tree and listening to the show as it was going on. The thing that kind of turned me on the show was... It was about a town of all women. So all the men had died, I want to say in like a mining accident. And so it was a town of mostly all women and how they were kind of surviving by themselves and um, their different stories and how different men came in, but how they still kept their independence and didn't just let a bunch of men come over and um, take over this town. There's a main character 
in it and he has kind of somebody after him through the whole show and that was an interesting it was a little bit dark it was a little bit deep um, but it was it was really good and it was back in the Old West and you know who doesn't like an Old West show I mean really so this show was a pleasant a pleasant surprise and I actually really enjoyed it this next show I was not sure about I didn't know and I actually was visiting my bestie and we were gonna watch something else and I saw it on her list of like recently watched and I said is that a good show and she said yeah it's really funny um, and I was like she's like I've watched them all and I was like oh okay and so I went home and I watched it it's called The Ranch with Ashton Kutcher and it is hilarious his father is actually played by Sam Elliott and I don't care what age you are Sam Elliott is sexy like it doesn't even matter I mean tombstone to the I mean Sam Elliott is the guy so um, that was a big draw for me and I actually watched the show and I really liked it I was a little bit took back by the fact that there was like a little bit of language in it they did curse and things like that and I was kind of like oh I don't know but um, I just watched it when my son went to sleep and it honestly wasn't that bad and I think they were trying to just make it more authentic to the characters because if you were working a ranch um, you would probably talk like this it wouldn't it wouldn't be a big deal in your everyday conversation really good jokes and you kind of get invested in the characters and you really want the best for them and you see them kind of develop over time uh, the fifth the fifth part they go in parts and the fifth part actually just came out and it was really good I was like I want to watch it I can't wait even though it does have some language in it and, and it's basically like an adult show I thought the storyline was pretty good and hadn't been done before either. So this next show is a little bit nostalgic for me because I watched Gilmore Girls as a girl um, and I was close to my mom and um, I really liked that show growing up. But this new show that came out that Netflix did, I thought it was a really good idea. They did kind of the different seasons and they did a, like a one year recap of you know so many years later this is where all these characters were and I really liked it but I was just a little disappointed with where the characters were I guess you could say I was more disappointed with the direction that it went and that it wasn't like all good and happy I don't know I know some people it wouldn't bother but for me I was it was something that I would definitely watch because I was a fan and because I grew up with it and I was excited that Netflix did it but it really it wouldn't be something that I would watch over and over again like the original Gilmore Girls. It was a little bit lackluster for me. I was kind of sad with how much everyone just wasn't doing very well. It didn't seem to get better. So it was kind of a little bit darker in my opinion but it was definitely worth the watch one time so those are five Netflix original shows that I have tried to watch and my reviews on them you can tell some of them I loved and I thought they were great some of them I'm, I kind of could gone without but at least I tried I know that um, the Netflix original shows I wasn't too keen on in the first place but the more and more they come out with the more and more I'm coming around to them if you guys have any that you just think are a must watch or anything like that, just let me know because I'm always, you know, looking for something new to watch. I have another video coming out where I let you guys know some of the Netflix original shows that I've watched with my child that um, we have enjoyed. They kind of compile onto this video and I will leave a link to that in the description box below or a card up here. I hope this gives you some fun shows to maybe watch that you wouldn't have originally thought were good and if you guys have any suggestions please let me know and I will see y'all in my next brand new video. Bye!